Hi, this is Hervé Seni from GuitarGearGeek.com. In this video, I'm going to compare the on the Artec onboard EXP booster on three different guitars. This guitar is a custom Stratocaster equipped with, um, let me get the name of the pickup right, Artec HXTN Trail Humbucker Pickups. That's right, that's right, HXTN. There are ceramic pickups and then deliver a high output volume. In the intro, I use the bridge pickup in series with the EXP set on zero uh, to get this famous um, Clapton sound or mid boost. And uh, for the distortion sound, I'm using uh, some uh, soul food and I just have some uh, delay and a bit of reverb. Uh, okay, so the EXP is a booster featuring three different types of setting. Set on zero, as it is now, it is a mid boost. Set somewhere near the middle. It's a neutral boost. And set on 10, it's a treble boost. So depending the type of pickup you are using, the outcome is going to be entirely different. So with high output pickups like those, the, the middle setting, the neutral boost, is not going to be extremely useful. If the pickups are naturally bright, the treble boost is going to be too bright too. So, for example, this is how the pickups, the, the bridge pickup sound, sounds uh, without the EXP. <laughs> If I put it on or somewhere around the middle, you see that it's boosting the sound a little bit, but the, the tone of the pick of the guitar is not changing much. But the difference of volume is not that big because, as I said, those pickups are really loud. So it's not boosting them that much that compared to a quieter pickup that I'm going to use uh, in the next uh, using the next guitar. So if I set it on, on zero, like this, this is a boost I'm, I was using in the intro. And on 10. This is the uh, bright boost. But if I put the pickup in, in parallel instead of series, the difference is going to be uh, bigger because the sound of the pickup is brighter. This is the uh, mid boost. In the middle and the bright boost. Both pick up together. And the neck pickup in series and in parallel with the EXP on ten. So and this is the mid boost on the neck pickup. It's a different sound, so... <laughs> For changing guitar, I want to play some clean sound with the neck pickup in uh, series mode. This is without the EXP. Put it on on uh, on zero the uh, mid boost position. It really gives a fat sound to play some uh, cool jazz. So in the middle position, it 
See that I have the almost the same sound as uh, without the EXP, but uh, with some boost. This is without. So this is the same sound, but boosted. And on 10 with the bright boost. Okay, the same with the pickups in parallel. Low. Mid boost. You see that it's pretty effective because it's not only a booster but a uh, really powerful EQ. So you can fine tune your tone uh, easily with just a uh So the outcome is going to be extremely different depending on how you set your gears, your FX and the type of pickups you are using. Okay, so now this other custom guitar uh, features uh, another type of Artec pickup which are uh, Bridgenberg vintage look pickups P51 that I bought uh, over at eBay and the middle pickup is a Gretsch uh, lap steel guitar pickup uh, it's pretty pretty amazing both pickup but especially the middle one it's a single coil while the um, the sound of Amberker and it is also extremely silent so anyway this is a bridge pickup in the series position without the, the same uh, FX, soul food, reverb, no delay. The clean sound of the, well, the clean sound, the sound without the EXP. And now with the EXP in the middle. <laughs> So you see the sound is boosted but it's remained about the same. Now on the uh, famous uh, Clapton sound. And on 10 with the uh, bright boost. If I put the pickup in uh, parallel with the uh, booster on 10, middle position and the mid boost. Middle pickup, cleans, uh, no effects. If I put the mid uh, the, the the EXP on zero, and on ten, and the neck pickup. Series with the EXP on 10. Middle position, more or less. And zero. Okay, there are many other pickup settings, but this is not the point of this video. So now I'm going to play some clean sound. So this is the neck pickup in series with the EXP on, on uh, zero. The sound is different from the other guitar, so in the middle pick up, in the middle position. And on ten. And oops. <laughs> Without uh, the EXP. See that those pickups are have less output, so the the booster is more efficient. The middle position, okay. I'm going to fix that later. So if I put it 
in the middle. <laughs> middle position I guess with the booster on and off finally the last guitar I'm using the EXP on it's another custom git uh, strat I made uh, with uh, two copy of uh, vintage Fender humbuckers and a Telecaster neck pickup in the middle position. It, so, it looks weird, but it sounds pretty cool. <laughs> so this is the same uh, effect setting as the two other guitars, which is uh, Soul Food and Reverb. I didn't change any setting. Uh, no delay still. And uh, the neck pickup in uh, parallel mode without the EXP for now. <laughs> Okay, let's change key now. I'm tired of playing in A. Let's play in G. So now, with the EXP on, set on zero. See that it gives a strange uh, wah sound to the guitar and uh, the middle setting. And uh, setting on uh, ten. And if I put it the pickup in in series, neck pickup still. position and uh, mid boost position okay so now bridge pickup no exp on in series and uh, if the exp on in the uh, mid boost position position and bright position in the parallel setting Mid boost, and uh, <clears throat> I really like the Y effect it uh, delivers to the sound. So, and clean sound now with neck pickup on in parallel in <clears throat> in series. Sorry, without the EXP first. With the mid boost around the middle. Bridge a pickup. <coughs> in a series with the EXP on 10. In the middle. The only problem you have with the uh, any onboard active devices such as the EXP is that you need to uh, to find a, a place for the battery. So on this on a, on this Stratocaster, 
I routed a slot to insert a battery case in the back of the guitar, like this. Uh, on the other one, uh, where, is it, where is it? Uh, on the other guitar, which is this one, uh, I could locate it here because I'm not using the the back uh, the back plate for springs because this whammy bar do not require any springs in the back, so I located the battery case in, in here without having to root anything in the guitar. And the last guitar I used, where is it? Okay. I had to do the same thing as the first one, which is uh, inserting a battery case in the back. Uh, and that's all. If you don't want, if you can't do like on my second guitar, and if you don't want to uh, modify your guitar body, you can still place the battery inside the the battery is a pickup routing, but it means that you you have to uh, remove the the pick guard every time you need to change the battery on guitars like Les Paul. It's easier to, to place the battery inside the, the back plate, but on a Strat, uh, you don't have many choices. So it's either a battery case inserted somewhere in your guitar. You can also place it in between the springs. If you are not using the, the vibrato, if you block the vibrato, you can place the, the battery in between the, the springs. So that's all there is to it. I hope you like this video and uh, see you soon in another video. Ciao. Thanks for watching.